but I can't pay you all this money, especially if you're not going to do exactly what I want you to do for me. And that's remove it from my credit report. So you make sure you keep that in mind when you're doing that. So make sure that if they say they can't remove it, um, you tell them that you were told that they could. And then what you want to do is you want to be polite the whole time anyway, but you want to be polite and you want to say something like, um, uh, you want to say something like, uh, let's see, uh, um, let's see, maybe my offer actually needs to be taken to a supervisor. May I speak to a supervisor? So you want to ask them just like that. Typically they don't want to send you along to the supervisor. Supervisors don't like it themselves. They don't like it. So they may not want to send you to a supervisor, but you make that request, you make that request saying that, you know, my offer or uh, this removal piece that we're talking about and, and you're saying you can't do it. No, let me speak to a supervisor then. And then maybe you'll get a supervisor on the phone. Now, I'll tell you this from personal experience with these supervisors. Some of them are hard hats, you know, some of them are they will uh, give you a hard time. But also the ones that talk the most mess. The ones that are probably in the background, the ones that are listening in on the conversation and they're writing stuff down and telling the, uh, you know, the person uh, that you're talking to uh, to be firm and, 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 and not agree to this or that or whatever. They're some of the softest ones. They're some of the softest ones. They don't uh, deal with customers all of the time and they rather not deal with the customers all of the time. And they may be more willing to give you a break give you a break on the amount or do the removal for you if you're insistent because they don't want to have to fuss and fight with you all right so don't be uh timid about any kind of supervisor or whatever it is that may be the person that you actually need to talk to that may be the person that actually be able to get what you done what you want done for you and then i'm, I'm pretty much done with the whole collection thing but then i want you to do this celebrate celebrate yourself pat yourself on the back some people are afraid to make these calls they just simply are they're afraid to make these kinds of calls there's anxiety behind making this call some don't like confrontation so if you push past the fear you deserve a pat on the back so pat yourself on the back when you go ahead and make that phone call and get it done then Celebrate yourself yet again. Celebrate the fact that you saved yourself some money. I don't care if it was just $200. You owe these people whatever it is that you owe them. It's no different than you getting a come up and you happy because you got $200 off of that purse, those shoes, that mattress, whatever it is that you were you know, looking to get and you got a deal. You got it on sale or whatever it is. This is just 200 bucks. Pat yourself on the back. Celebrate yourself in this because you did a good job. Then let the celebration continue. Celebrate the fact that you've raised your score. Now, you're not going to get off the phone and go look at your credit report and see your credit score uh, rocket right then because it just doesn't work that fast for you. But celebrate the fact that your actions, your actions have actually created a better credit score for you. So, if you're having a collection added to your credit report, you know that it can cost you a lot of points. It can cost you 40 points, 50 points, mm -hmm. or maybe even 100 points. Removing one of those collections, just removing one, can get you those points back. So, now, it won't be 100 points. You're not going to get 100 points back for um, just one collection coming off your credit report. But getting it removed could be 20 or 30 points. 20 or 30 points it only takes 50 points to move from one category to the next category right so if you're moving from poor credit or bad credit somewhere in the 600s you're at 630 and you get this removed and it gives you another 30 points you move to the next category you move to the next category so if you're in the 670s and you get 30 points if you're troy and Troy does this that we talked about earlier and you have a 670 and you get a collection removed and you get 30 points. Now you're in a 700 club. So celebrate yourself. Absolutely celebrate yourself and make sure, make sure that you do it. So take joy in your accomplishments. If you've got more than one collection, 
rinse and repeat. You hear me? If you got more than one collection, rinse and repeat everything that I just said. You want to make sure that you have a plan beforehand. You want to give them a call at an op op optimal time for you. Give them a call. Like I said, it's the end of the quarter. Give them a call. It's September. Go ahead and make that call. You want to do all the things that I said. Negotiate for removal. You know, negotiate for lower payment. All of those things to get those collections off of your credit report. It's absolutely going to help you improve your score. Absolutely going to help improve your score. If you get those things removed, if you get some of them paid, it's absolutely going to do it. Now, there's nuance to all of this. And I talk to you about nuance all the time. And that's when you need specific specific um information about your credit score your credit score your credit report and what you want to do when you need that specific information what are you going to do you're going to call the 800 credit score man so email me 800 at credit score com. that's 800 at credit score man com, and i'll do my absolute best to help you i would love to take on some clients now when i get you know 10 10 clients in a week th it slows me down. Absolutely slows me down. Yep, I got an assistant. It's Corona time. Kids at home, all that stuff. So, yep, I'm I'm a little bit behind as is right now. But, 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 you can still contact me and we'll get you on the list and we'll help you with your credit score. So, you call me, 800 at creditscoreman.com or call me, 312-600-5855. Look. That's all I got for you guys today. Come back next week. Come back next week. We got some stuff. I might even have a little update for you on that information I was saying. There's something news coming out from the 800 Credit Score Man. I might have a little teaser update for you next week. So you guys um, check me out, right? So come back next week to the 800 Credit Score Man show. You know how I got to do before I get out of here. Kobe, Cameron, and Carter. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out.